Welcome to Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we are going to look at real-world holographic projection, and then a holodeck for running experiments on animals. Then we're going to wrap up with a world record-setting dance party. Stick around, you're going to want to see that one. And if you want interesting news seven days a week, click the subscribe button right over here. Hit that bell, and you'll know when I upload something new. Alright, let's get into this. Holographic displays have been a permanent fixture in science fiction, for as long as science fiction has been around. Probably the most famous would be R2-D2 and his Princess Leia hologram, or even that cool game of chess that they play in the Star Wars movies. Heck, I remember a time back in the early 90s when you were able to play a holographic 3D game called The Time Traveler in your local arcade. I wasted so much money on that game. But it does seem like they're having a real problem bringing this stuff into a real world at home setting. But it seems like Voxon Photronics has figured out how to make this a reality. Voxon started off back in 2013 when two buddies were sitting around drinking a beer and they said, hey, we wanna make a holographic projector like we saw in Star Wars. And that's when Will and Gavin started cobbling together some stuff and they had the bright idea to make a 3D holographic display. And that was the start of Voxon Photonics. They have since teamed up with some researchers here in the United States, and the company itself is based in Australia. And for the last four years, they have been working on this. They say their system could be used for 3D medical imaging, advertising, gaming, and education as well. And they have been showing this off for the last couple years, and finally, they announced that it is for sale. Earlier this month, the Voxon VX1 is up for sale and the idea behind this is pretty cool basically how this works is it projects its image onto a high speed reciprocating screen basically it's just moving real fast back and forth and as it's moving back and forth it's projecting different layers of the image and our eyes will stitch it together as one image kind of how you see them do it in uh, big laser shows where they write stuff in the air real fast with a laser, same idea. And this does produce 3D images without glasses and they can be viewed from any angle. Although from what I understand, if you look straight down on it, it doesn't have quite as good of an effect. But anywhere from around the sides or any angle, but directly down doesn't work so well. But there it is, the Voxon VX1. You can check out their website. I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you're interested in owning one, you can go ahead and email them and they'll send you a price for it. You know, let's step directly from holograms to holodeck. Researchers at the University of Freiburg have developed a 3D virtual reality holodeck for running tests on lab animals. The reason they wanted to do this is when they're testing the perception of an animal, they either have to build a very large area for it to be able to move around in or immobilize the animal and feed it images. Either way puts a lot of boundaries onto the way an animal would work in a normal, natural environment. And that's where they came up with the Freemo VR. Or Freemo VR. Free mover. Ah. According to Andrew Straw, the head researcher on this project, we wanted to create a holodeck for animals so they would experience a reactive, immersive environment under computer control so that we could perform experiments that would reveal how they see objects the environment, and other animals. As you can see, that little red dot is tracking the zebrafish that's swimming freely with the aliens from Space Invader. I'm sure that... And this one here, you can see another zebrafish swimming around with a computer animated fish. And this shows how they would react to another animal in its environment. Or here they track how a fly flies in an environment while throwing different objects at it. It's all really great ways to freak out lab animals and also perform some pretty interesting science at the same time. And finally, I promised you a Guinness World Record setting dance party. Here it is. Here we have 1,069 Dolby robots. Actually, it's 1,070, but you can see the one fell down. And they're all set to dance in sync with each other. Kind of creepy to watch, isn't it? Kind of funny at the same time. This record was set by WL Intelligent Technology Company Limited. It's in Guangdong, China. It is a useless world record. It is kind of fun to watch. And it's just something I thought was interesting and we'd use it to wrap up my show. And on that note, I am going to wrap it up. So thanks for stopping in. And hey, if you like what I do, your friends will too. So give me a share on Facebook and Twitter. I do this seven days a week. I live stream on Saturday and I have a short on Sunday. So I hope to see you here again soon. So until next time, have fun and be safe.